Hello, welcome to another Studio Takes. I'm Dane Scott with Pocket Frog. Pocket Frog is in the house. And it's good to be with you today. It's a special day here on Studio Takes. What's on the agenda today? Today what we're going to do is to tell you what goes into a voiceover coaching session. Maybe you've thought about it, you've wondered about it. You know, what are the mysterious things that go on in a coaching session? How scary is it? You know, how nervous should you be about it? How much are you put on the spot? What can you really get out of it? So today, with our special guest, Jessica Glass, we're going to get into it. Yay! Should be fun. Stay tuned. Jessica's up next. Studio Takes. Real help for the aspiring voiceover artist and fiber entrepreneur. Well, no preliminaries today except to tell you that at the end of today's session, I'm going to give you the opportunity to save on a coaching session if you would like to do that. So uh, stick around till the end of Studio Takes. And... I think it's about time to go. Okay, time to join the party for We are we. joining the party, and we're joining Jessica Glass. You prefer Jess, right? Yeah, Jess works just fine. Okay, where are you in the world? I am in um, Atlanta, just a little bit north of Atlanta. How come you don't sound like this? <laughs> um, I somehow got rid of the Southern accent, and just, I guess, well, in customer service for so long, and, you know, all the talking, I don't know, I picked up other, you know, accents and stuff from other people. And I, I don't really have much of one. I think it really depends on who I'm talking to because I pick up on how they start to speak. So if I'm around family who are a bit more Southern, I actually, you know, pick up on that. When I was yeah. in radio, um, I was always worried about ac accidentally acquiring an accent. <clears throat> and I remember we traveled once down into South Carolina and uh, Georgia and so forth. And I was hearing so much of it that at night I was dreaming that I was having to try and fight off the accent. So when I got back, I wasn't <laughs> going to have that problem. <laughs> and, that, and for any of the people out there who have a Southern accent, all right, this is not casting aspersions on you. As a matter of fact, that's a whole market in itself. Uh, but at any rate, it's so nice to meet you. Tell me a little about yourself. Well, first of all, nice to meet you finally. I've yeah. seen you a lot on social media and your videos and stuff on YouTube. So it's a pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. So... All right. Um, what all do you want to know from me? Well, you know, uh, what's your background that would relate to voiceovers? I mean, did you do some theater or things like that? Um, no. I For some reason, I have horrible stage fright. But <laughs> when I'm behind a mic, you know, I don't have to worry so much about, you know, all the aspects that comes with, you know, being in front of the public. Mm -hmm. So when I first started, it actually ended up being doing several um like voicemail greetings um, for several companies. In fact, I think that about 10 years ago, I ended up doing um, that for about 20 companies. Oh, wow. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, of course, I'm one of the ones, like so many people who start off with this that they always hear, you have such a great voice, you should do this, you know. Um, and it was about four years ago, I was laying in bed watching TV and I heard a commercial, you know, and I was like, I should be doing that. That should be me on there. That and tells you something right there, I think. <clears throat> we have instincts, you know, and, uh, and yeah. sometimes our instincts will kind of tell us what, where we ought to be. Yeah. You know what I'm and saying? Really, it, absolutely. And for some reason, that night, I just, I opened up my phone and I did a search, you know, voiceover acting, and I came across um, Edge Studio. Mm -hmm. And what I liked about that is that they first have an introduction um, period where you go into a studio. You know, you speak with a coach and then you get to go into um, into the studio and actually do some reads and, you know, and they have, I think it was a production guy in there, or an engineer, and we were able to do that in the booth and they, I guess, let you know if this is for you or not. And so when I got, you know, one take that I, they said I nailed on the first try, it was for like a Macy's Day sale or something mm -hmm. like that. You know, I just got really excited. I'm like, you know what? This is something that I can do. So then I started getting additional coaching afterwards, things that I found online. And, um, and I just I really enjoyed it. And people could tell that it was something that just sparked a fire in me. You know, you it drop a fish in water, they just start swimming. That's just the way it works. Yeah, yeah I, exactly. Yeah. And, and so, this uh, oh. what you did there with Edge is a perfect example of what I recommend for people when it comes to coaching. And that is to have an introductory session mm -hmm. with a coach uh, right. where there's no like you're not like nailing yourself down to anything. You're just basically getting together and getting someone's feedback and finding yeah. out where you're at. And that's really what I wanted to kind of emulate today, even though you've been through that process already uh, to kind of walk you through what we do when I get together with people to do coaching. 
Um, one of the things that I wanted to cover uh, right at the very beginning here, and if we run longer than a half hour, is it okay? Yeah, Okay, absolutely. all right, because normally these sessions are an hour, and we won't take that much time, but since we have to have so much preliminary in order to explain stuff, we're not getting down to, into the actual nitty-gritty of the coaching quite as quickly, but uh, one of the things that a lot of people worry about, you know, when it comes to coaching is, what is this experience going to be like? You know, right. is it intimidating? Okay, I'm getting together with someone who's a quote-unquote professional. You know, what yeah. are they going to think of me? You know, right. and I don't have as much experience. Are they just going to think I sound like a total neophyte and, you know, really, really amateurish? And, you know, what kind of, you know, am I going to be able to handle the feedback that they give me? You know, it's like. And not just you, but when it goes, you know, live, like if you're putting it on YouTube and, you know, putting on your platforms and showcasing what your talents are as far as a coach, then the people listening, you know, to me, you know, how judgmental are they going to be? Like, oh, I'm better than her. You know, why are you doing this or something? And it, it's silly to care about that, you know, because this is something that I want. And this in itself is to help me, you yep. know, even if I'm not great, you know, right now, it's helping me still on my journey. Yep. Well, you've so. got the perfect attitude. So, I mean, that's a big part of the journey right there. Right. What I'm going to do, I think, well, actually, let's talk about one other thing first before we get to some reads. And that is, um, what are you hoping to accomplish next in voiceover? Next, I want to get on more platforms where I can, you know, showcase my work. Um, I, I love helping small businesses with their ads, their marketing content. Um, I've done that for several years mm -hmm. for um, a couple of companies. So you know, given that time, I'm able to, you know, just see what I do like, what I don't like. For example, I don't think that I want to be in, you know, animation, really. <laughs> Maybe, you know, but character voices, I don't do. I I want to just be able to kind of be the voice of, you know, brands or, you know, certain companies. So I think next, I, I want to work on, you know, making some money, you know, starting off, you know, with the smaller gigs and stuff mm -hmm. like that, getting more comfortable, and then hopefully attracting the larger clients, you know, right. through those avenues. Right. Tell me about your equipment right now, what you have in terms of gear. Um, right now, I have a mic. It's like an AT something mm -hmm. um, that I just bought from a previous coach's affiliate links or something. Um, it seems to work pretty well. Okay. I turned my master closet into a little <laughs> studio. Um, I have my focus right. And then I am using Audacity just because it's free, you know, mm -hmm. and fairly easy to use. Perfectly good place to start out for sure. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. okay. And the AT2020 is probably what you're talking about for a microphone. Yes, that uh -huh. sounds good. All right. So, yeah, you've got yourself a good starter set there. And uh, the Scarlet's a good interface, very clean. And and so uh, I think you're in, in nice shape. The acoustics of the room, if it were something that you weren't sure about or were still getting to, that's another thing that we would talk about in the coaching session, you know, is like, okay, uh, where do you want to try and do this? Right now we're doing it in your main room. And if you were to say, okay, how does this sound? I would say, mm, not too good, oh, yeah. you know, <laughs> but, the, but the other part of it is that you're just working off of the mic that's on your laptop. So, mm -hmm. uh, but I said for today, this would be totally fine. If we were doing some coaching, I might even suggest that we set up for coaching in the room so I can actually hear more of the acoustic properties of the, you know, the voice and, and how it sounds, in, you know, so the, but the technical side, those are things that we go over, like the software, the recording space, uh, the hardware and so forth. And I think it sounds like you're in pretty good shape there. Once we would hear your closet, we'd know better for sure on that. Absolutely. Uh, okay. And then what are your long-term goals? Long term, um, I kind of feel like I, you know, whenever I want to do commercials, um, GPS and, you know, voiceovers like that or, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know, virtual assistants, that would be really cool. Waze has an option to where you can um, record your own voice instead of using the ones that they already have. And so I had so much fun, you know, just for myself. So it always made me laugh because I would I would just, you know, make it kind of funny, like, whoops, rerouting, rerouting, girl, go back, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like turn around. <laughs> and it was just, I don't know, that was fun for me. Um, you know, maybe some radio imaging, um, trailers, maybe mm -hmm. documentaries, perhaps. Mm -hmm. um, I'm leaving it kind of open, you know, because I, I learn more as I go, I get more comfortable with things. And honestly, the sky's the limit, you know, yeah. I'm not 
putting you know too much pressure on knowing for sure where I want this to go because it, it could be anything you mm-hmm. know as long as I have the right coaching and you know I'm able to find people who are interested in my voice then you know why not try maybe fail a little bit but who knows you know one of the things that comes out of this first part of the conversation that people don't realize at the time when they're having the conversation is that you get a really good feel for the person's energy and for their vocal tone and for, you know, the way they express themselves and the amount of emphasis and the amount of inflection and things that come naturally in their voice. So you've been auditioning already more than you realized. Yeah. And I worked with this company. It was a skincare brand and I was able to do, like I said, a lot of, you know, ads for them. I was, doing translations from, you know, Hawaiian languages to, you know, English or, you know, helping people say certain things if they, you know, wanted to travel there because it was a Hawaiian based brand. Um, And so, you know, like I've been doing additional training for that. um, And I've been doing some things for local companies as well. You know, like I said, their social media marketing ads and stuff on their websites, Mm -hmm. you know, just getting a feeling that I really love that aspect of it. Yeah. You know, yeah. Well, let me tell you what I'm hearing in your voice so far. Okay. Um, all right. It is bright and friendly. Okay. It's, it's fresh sounding, okay. enthusiastic. Uh, it has a really nice energy. It, uh, it has a naturalness that I think is really good, you know, because that is, that's where the money is these days, our natural delivery type voices. Yeah. Um, it has, like I said, it has a youthfulness to it, and that also is in high demand, okay? Which is crazy. Um, I actually have been asking for feedback just for that because I'm, you know, wanting to set up my fro- um, fiber profile. Mm-hmm. And um, and a lot of people would say, you know, sometimes I sound like I'm, you know, in early 20s because I, I can go, you know, higher pitch, and I don't even necessarily mean to. Um, but then also, you know, I'm mid-30s right now. So the fact that, you know, 20s and 30s, it can help me, you know, a lot of different um, types of... You can go a lot of different directions at that age. Uh, My daughter does voiceovers, and she will do even little kids and fairies and stuff like that. But then she'll also do, you know, people her age and and so forth. So there's lots of of potential there. You can do little girls. You can do little boys, you know. (laughs) I don't, teens and I tried tweens that and... actually. <laughs> I don't know if I have the ability to do that. I think I'd have to practice more. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, they have their voices haven't changed. Is the point? You know, so right. you know, there's the the potential to stretch all the way from children all the way through to at least as old as you are and possibly older. But the other thing that I wanted to mention about the tonality of your voice is that it has uniqueness. Um, really? It isn't just like a, just a straight voice. It there's I can't describe it. But there are certain things in like the the tonality and timbre of your voice that make it unique. And that gives you something special that you can offer. I don't mean weird at all. Oh, no. No. I I wouldn't mind um, weird. Everybody's voice, vocal core, just the the acoustic setup of their voice is a little different. And the result can be all kinds of interesting little things. And so um, I I did coaching actually. Well, what I did was uh, a session with Susan Berkeley, who's just a really fabulous uh, voiceover lady out of uh, I think New York. Um, I, what I did was I hired her to coach me through a um, an audition, like to do a demo. This was back in the like late eighties, early nineties. Okay. And um, and one of the things she talked about was a delicious voice, meaning Ooh. a voice that there's something special there. You know, that's why I don't always agree with people that say, you know, when people say that you have a a great voice, that that doesn't count for anything, because I don't believe that. I think that, you know, the quality, the the specialness of your voice can really, really pay off. Okay, so as you become more aware of and and can tap into the uniqueness of your voice, that can be an additional tool in your arsenal. You know, another other weapon. What do you think uniqueness means in your term because i know you said you don't mean it's weird i don't think weird is a bad term anyway because i embrace my you know weirdness as well but (laughs) (laughs) how would you how would you kind of define you you know that's what i was trying to do and i i can't it it has more to do with um you know there's the pitch of the voice but then there are overtones in the voice, high frequency and low frequency sounds that are above and below the pitch of your voice. And those things 
become like a part of the mixture. It, it's like it adds to the recipe. Um, you will hear certain people with a, a high voice that's it, that sounds almost low and low right. voices that sound almost high because of all these overtones and harmonics right. and things that are going on. So it has to do with the complexity of the complexities uh, and the richness of your voice. Okay. Okay. So just because someone has a high voice doesn't mean that they don't have a rich voice. <laughs> okay. All right. So I think what you have is is a fairly high voice, not like Minnie Mouse. Okay. You have a fairly high <laughs> voice, but it's um it's just it's just a youthful range of voice. Okay. Okay. And but along with that, you've got richness and interest in your voice. And so I think that just gives you one more, like I said, one more uh weapon in your arsenal, the fact that awesome. that's the case. You're coming in with uh with a good basic tool. Okay. okay. Awesome. Thank you so much for that All right. feedback. So with those things said, let's I'm gonna make your window a little smaller. Okay. And then I'm gonna make uh bring this in here. This is um I'm getting a weird kind of a double double video occasionally and I may have to adjust for that, but okay, no, we're fine. No, it did it again. Okay, I think I, I think we're all right. What I have here is is some text that I've sent you. Yes. And this is actually from Edge Studio. Okay. You know, for, for, for a guy that's doing a thing on voiceover coaching, I'm certainly giving Edge a lot of publicity today. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, I noticed that other <laughs> That's videos. okay. <laughs> I happen to believe that, uh, that Edge is a really good resource, if for no other reason, because they have over 6,000 different scripts that they have up there. And it's just wonderful for practicing. Absolutely. Um, one of the things that I, I talk about when it comes to, to practice is the fact that uh, when I went to broadcast school, and this was back in the 70s. Oh, you've heard this, right? Oh, I oh. have. I already have it like planned into my daily routine. Oh, now, oh good for you. Good so for you. Interesting. <laughs> she, yeah. to, to explain, she says she's been binging on the studio takes, so she knows, yeah. knows some of these stories. But uh, they required us to practice for an hour a day. And, you know, an hour is a long time, you know, especially when you're not used to doing it. But it's amazing how that helps over time, uh, even if you can only give it 10 or 15 minutes to just keep hammering at it. And one of the things you discover is that the, which copy you read is not nearly so important as what you put into it. So right. it's possible to take one piece of copy and read it a bazillion different ways and just experiment with your voice and get crazy and do interesting stuff. All right. Absolutely. So with that in mind, um, what we will first do is to try and get into the copywriter's head a little bit, get a sense of what they were shooting for in this copy, right. and then see if we can kind of kind of channel that. Uh, so we've got the text up here. And this is, I picture it kind of like a national geographic explorer kind of thing. Um, okay. You know, a nature so show, you know, where they got these more informative kind of like that's um, it, almost dreamy okay you know, it's like this is you can picture the drone this is what i always like to do is to picture picture the graphics that are going to go with things as you're reading them okay so you can picture like the drone footage these days the drones take these gorgeous shots the slow oh, pans, dead smooth shots of panoramas and and swooping down on ocean waves and back up at the gulls in the sky and things like that yeah. so we have this wonderful resource of visuals that can go with our voiceovers these days okay. this one uh, i can picture that so much you know, it's welcome to the planet Earth, a place of blue nitrogen skies, oceans of liquid water, cool forests, soft meadows. You can just picture the videos. Very descriptive. Uh, the things happening here. A world positively yeah. rippling with life. You can see fish jumping out of the water or something. You right. know, or the deer running through the forest. From the cosmic perspective, now we know where the video's going, right? Okay. okay. Uh, we've got a pan panorama of the sky. Uh, it is for us, or it is for the moment, unique. The only world on which we know with certainty that the matter of the cosmos has become alive and aware. And, of course, there we'd have to be showing probably people. Right. Okay. So I've already directed this whole thing. I mean, <laughs> but that's what you do. You kind of direct it in your mind. Okay. Right? So now when you do it, it's not just you reading copy and trying to sound a certain way. Right. Now it's all about what can I do with this? to really, really make those word pictures come alive. Okay. Okay. So what we're doing is we're jumping past the copy to the copywriter and we're picturing what was in their mind and then yeah. we're trying to bring that out 
that's the yeah. key to doing good voiceovers, I think, is to right. is to get into the copywriter's head. So with that in mind, uh, why don't you give me an initial read through, understanding that this is your first time through and that there is no pressure on you at all. As a matter of fact, if you just want to read through it once <laughs> just to get the feel of the copy before you even try to put much into it, that's fine. Um, okay. Welcome to planet Earth, a place of blue nitrogen skies, oceans of liquid water, cool forests, soft meadows, a world positively rippling with life. From the cosmic perspective, it is, for the moment, unique. The only world on which we know with certainty that the matter of the cosmos has become alive and aware. See you guys? Was I right or was I not? I'm talking to the Do audience like? here. I mean, Jen? yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, the listen to the quality in the voice there. There's some really good things going on. Okay, now let's go through it again. And this time, I'd like you to slow it down. And um, and now we're getting out the uh, the palette and the oil paint, and okay. we're gonna and the brushes, and we're just gonna paint each one of these scenes. Okay, okay. so. Uh, I'm in, let me demonstrate something that I do in the sessions, and that is to, to give a, kind of a, a pattern read or a, an example read. And what I always explain is when I do this, it's not to say, do it like me. It's just to say, here, here are some possibilities of ways that we could approach this. Okay. Okay. Welcome to the planet Earth, a place of blue nitrogen skies, oceans of liquid water. Cool forests, soft meadows, a world positively rippling with life. From the cosmic perspective, it is, for the moment, unique. The only world on which we know, with certainty, that the matter of the cosmos has become alive and aware. Okay. I now we could, that. <laughs> we could fly through this a bunch of different ways, you know, so this was just like one shot at it and as i'm going through it i'm going now nah, that wasn't very good now nah, that wasn't very good but that's you know that <laughs> yeah that's just the way it is you know you but that's what makes you improve is you're you're constantly looking for what you can keep doing better okay so Absolutely. the idea here is think about the adjectives all the way through okay. you know the blue nitrogen skies oceans of liquid water cool forests you know okay okay so give me another read. Relax, totally relax, and give it to me again. Nice and slow. Yeah, I notice I get faster once I get more nervous. Yep. So. yep. Oh, well, man. what would you expect? I mean, we just got together. You're, you're doing this for more than just me, so we get it. Right. <laughs> Don't be too harsh on me, guys. Listen, you're doing fine. You're doing fine. Thank you. Okay. All right. So just start whenever? Yep. All right. Welcome to the planet Earth. A place of blue nitrogen skies. Slow it down even more. Oceans of liquid water. Cool forests. Soft meadows. A world positively rippling with life. From the cosmic perspective, it is, for the moment, unique. The only world in which we know with certainty that the matter of the cosmos has become alive and aware. Woohoo! Very nice yeah, job. Was that Very slower nice job. to you? Yep, this is definitely okay. coming along. I like what you're doing with that. Uh, there's definite drama in there. I mean, you're using your face to help kind of bring some of that stuff out. And um, and you should never be afraid to use facial expressions, to, to move your hands around. You know, I've, I've voice coached some people that, man, they, they're very Italian. You know, they just like, yeah. their, their hands are moving and they're gesturing right. and they're pointing and stuff. Whatever helps to bring it out. You know, okay. if you have to pull out on your ears or whatever you need to do, <laughs> right. you know, whatever it takes to draw it out. Right. Okay. Yeah, and one thing I've always heard as well is that, you know, people can hear when you smile, like if you're in yes. customer service or something like that, where you're on the phone and you're talking to someone, if you answer the phone with a smile, they can hear that. Yes. You know, yes. so. I and it depends to... there on the, on the facial shape too. Some people, when they smile, they get more smile in their voice than others. Okay. You know, I smile and talk and it doesn't sound a lot different. It's just, really? uh, yeah, for some reason. Um, but I still do it because I feel like I, I want to try and convey that. Okay, yeah. I'm going to have you go down to Freshy. Okay. That's the next one down here. Okay. This one is all about delicious. Speaking of delicious voice, this is all about delicious. Um, fresh. Mm -mm, this is going to be good. You know, I'm just looking down through the copy here. 
uh, we're romancing the different kinds of foods that are in this yeah. thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, just, just think delicious and bright, fresh. Okay. And just give me a read all the way through, just an initial read. Okay. At Freshy, you can customize your entree and be your own culinary master. So what's in your custom bowl? Tex-Mex with black beans and a little salsa fresca? Teriyaki twist with a pop of pineapple? Whatever your fresh idea, get any two bowls for just twelve ninety nine. dollars Freshy. Eat. Energize. Good. P good uh, pacing at the end of that, especially, you know, like stopping to make those emphasis at the end. So good. Good. Um, I like it a lot. Uh, let's go through it again. And this time we're going to take a little more time with each of the different parts of it. Okay. Okay. So um, when we first introduce the name of the company, mm -hmm. okay, uh, we want to make sure that we make a point of that. Right. So we wouldn't want to sound like we were back referencing something we'd already said when we say at Freshy you can customize your entree. True. You know, so they, the clients want their name noticed. You right. Know? Right. That's and plus, point, really. we're introducing the topic. We're introducing the the brand or the service or you yeah. know whatever it is. So the first time we'd say at Freshy, you know, at okay. Freshy, you know, something that really kind of boing. Uh, at Freshy, you can customize your entree and be your own culinary master. Okay, so the idea is that this is, you can come in on this, you go into this restaurant and you can just pick what you want. So what do you want? What's, what's in your custom bowl, all right? Yeah. So we want to, we want to put a little emphasis on your. Okay. What's in your custom bowl? And okay. now, ooh, how about this? And then we go right. through and we give some examples. And then, then there's the end, the call to action. And they don't actually say, so hurry on down to Freshy, but that's basically what they're saying, you know. Yeah. Right. And so the call to action in part is just the, the, the special that they're offering. Okay. Okay. So with that in mind, slow it down and uh, just work the copy. Think about what the copywriter was trying to say and fire two. All right. At Freshy, you can customize your entire, or the, you know what? Oops. <laughs> At Freshy, you can customize your entree and be your own culinary master. So what's in your custom bowl? Tex-Mex with black beans and a little salsa fresca? Teriyaki twist with a pop of pineapple? Whatever your fresh idea, get any two bowls for just twelve ninety nine. dollars Freshy, eat, energize. Good, good. Yeah, and I think that that, you know, already that would be something that a person could use. So, you know, you're in the second take, you've got something pretty good there already. Uh, if we were doing any uh, extended coaching, I would probably be talking a little bit about vocal fry with you. Okay. Uh, vocal fry is the sound like this that we can get at the end of sentences if we're not careful. It's as our, as our voice starts to taper off, it gets, it gets a little buzz. Okay. Okay. And it's something that's kind of generational. It's almost a cultural thing. Um, but if you're just aware of it, you know, it, it doesn't even hurt if some of it is there. Um, but, and you don't, have a, you don't have severe vocal fry on the ends of words, but it's just showing up just a little bit here and there. And that's something that we could look at or talk about. Yeah. Now let's go to a, a fun one here. All right. Now we're going to the Caribbean. All right. Okay. This one is definitely another oil painting here. You know, if you've seen pictures of the Caribbean, their, their water is just amazing. It has that, that blue green look and it's very transparent, mm -hmm. you know, so if you're, if you're flying over it, it just looks like a magic mirror. It's just this amazing looking stuff. So you can picture, you know, the, the scenes of the Caribbean. And then I think at Sandals, they tend to have a pool that has the logo of Sandals at the bottom of the okay. pool. You've yeah, seen, seen those stuff. commercials. Yeah. 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 Okay. So you're just kind of picturing this, this luxurious place and we want a luxurious read. Okay. And so. We want to tap into the richness of your voice for this one. So rather okay. than bright and chipper, this one is going to be more like rich and luxurious. Okay. And, so, and I'm going to suggest an approach here that okay. you probably haven't experimented with yet, but which is something that I work with with my students that can be called by all different words, but basically it, it would be like a hoarse whisper. Okay. <clears throat> what it is is a whisper with some voice engaged in it. And I'm going to demonstrate a fun little technique with you, okay? Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> See, um, I'm so excited for this. So yes, please okay. teach me. Uh, okay. Imagine um, that your voice, your vocal cords have um, a, a knob, a dial. And okay. if you've ever turned a dial on something where there are like clicks on the dial, mm -hmm. like a fan in a car or something, where there's the first click and the second click and the third click and you can keep turning it and it keeps getting, the fan gets louder or whatever it is, or they have volume controls, some like uh, where there's actually a knob for controlling the volume. <laughs> it's becoming less less common. But right. um, what, I'm, what I'm gonna do is to demonstrate how you can t click that knob up one little click at a time. Okay. And engage more and more of your voice starting from a whisper. Okay. okay, so because I'm going to be focused so much on that, I won't be giving as much emphasis to the copy itself. But I'm going to start with a whisper, and then I'm going to slowly notch it up, and you'll hear what happens. Okay, okay. so here we go. Somewhere in the Caribbean, there are five-star luxury resorts where it's all-inclusive all the time. Sandals, where love is all you need because everything else is included. Call 1-800-SANDALS. Okay, that was cool, okay. Yeah, all right, it's a little creepy, but you know, it, you, <laughs> the, the idea is by, by doing it in little notches, and I'm not gonna ask you to do this, by the way, that's putting you way too much on the spot, but, <laughs> but what you can do is, in your private time when no one's listening, you can experiment with this, okay? Absolutely. And start from a whisper and then just engage your voice a little bit. And then engage it a little more, and a little more, and a little more, and a little more, and a little more, until you find, you know, there's all this little nuance. All you're doing is determining how much of your voice you're mixing in with your breath. Okay. So to start with, it's all too. air. Okay. And then as you turn up the dial, you're getting more and more voice with the air. But there are going to be, everybody's voice is different on this. But... For Jess, there's going to be some spot in that dial where all of a sudden it's like, ooh, there we go. You know, okay. So when you do this, somewhere in the Caribbean, now you can see I'm not like way soft or real hard. Somewhere in the Caribbean, there are five star luxury resorts where it's all inclusive all the time. Okay. See what you can find. Just okay. give it a, you know what, here's the thing that I, I suggest. You know, are you an, uh, a mom or an aunt or something like that? I'm a mom. You're a mom? Yeah. Okay, all right, yeah. so this is perfect. Um, quiet, the baby's sleeping. Oh, okay. You're in the same room with the baby, you're talking to your husband, and it's like, okay, we can talk. We won't whisper, that's too darn annoying, but okay. <laughs> we'll talk softly so we don't wake, so we don't wake the baby. Okay, so give me the quiet, the baby sleeping voice, mom. All right, um, quick question, um, mm -hmm. quick question. Somewhere in the Caribbean or Caribbean, that's one thing. Does Caribbean that is, I think, is more common. Okay, okay. Somewhere in the Caribbean, there are five star luxury resorts where it's all inclusive all the time. Sandals, where love is all you need because everything else is included. Call 1-800-SANDALS. See, you, you nailed it. Just thinking about the baby was all it took. It really was, yeah. yeah. Yep, yep, okay. Now all that remains, and I won't keep, I won't keep you too much longer here because we've oh, gone pretty fine. long, but um, the last thing I'd like to do now is the same one, the same style, you, you nailed it. I think you've, you've found a good, uh, good voice, right? That, that baby, baby sleeping voice is good. Uh, now we just want to slow it down and make it more luxurious. Now that you found the voice, you can think back on the copy again more. Okay. okay. Now, you're flying into this place here. Okay, you just you're just kind of coming in on maybe you're flying in over the over the jungle, I don't know. And uh, and suddenly you see the ocean and then you see the uh, you see the resort and okay, so somewhere in the Caribbean there are five star kind of like that, you know. Okay. All right. Somewhere in the Caribbean, there are five-star luxury resorts where it's all-inclusive all the time. Sandals, where love is all you need because everything else is included. 
Call 1-800-SANDAL. Okay. Uh, the first part was good. We kind of lost it in the second part. So, Did it so get San too low, maybe? What's that? Did it get too low, maybe? Too soft? Uh, no, no. I don't think so much that as you just started to speed up and lose a little of the luxuriousness. And yeah, and that's kind of one of my issues is slowing it yes. down, especially when I'm nervous. I, you know, that energy, that adrenaline, it does make me go a bit faster. And I'm a fast speaker anyway, just naturally. So that's, I have yeah, to learn. That's a sign of a down. fast mind. So that's not necessarily a bad thing. But okay, okay, <laughs> yeah, run with that. But yeah. what we need to do now, and I have I have coaching students where that's the one of the biggest focuses because their mind goes so fast and they talk so fast that when they get in their copy, they're just like this, you know. <laughs> And yeah. what we have to do here is to be totally, totally in the copy and just, you know, like you wouldn't go sandals where love is all you need. You know, you go okay. sandals where love is all you need. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. So just give me, um, give me the uh, start, starting at sandals. Okay. Um, oh, starting at sandals. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, sandals where love is all you need. Oh my goodness. That was a hundred percent better. Yay! Nice. I'm sorry. <laughs> that might have been too loud, but yay. <laughs> <laughs> One more time, and I'll, I won't interrupt you this time. Um, all the way through? or Just, just from sandals. sandals. Okay. Sandals, where love is all you need. Call. Oh, oh okay. Because everything else is included. Call 1-800-SANDALS. Yeah. There you go. You stayed in the groove that time. Okay. Lovely. Very nice job. Thank okay. you so much. So just in this short period of time, you can see that you've made some good progress. Yeah, I feel it. And yeah. I have tips to take with me, you know, to practice even more afterwards. So. Mm -hmm. You've got yeah. tools that, you know, when you go into practice, yeah. So you can sit down now and you can say, okay, I'm going to give this, I'll take the same piece of copy and I'm going to read it five different ways. And I'm going to try all this stuff out. And then I'm okay. going to take the same one and do some goony voice with it. You know, even if it's sandals, say somewhere in the Caribbean, you know, just mess with it. Just make sure nobody's around that you don't want to have hear you, but just experiment with your voice and you'll find all kinds of wonderful things there. Great tip. Okay. And that okay. sounds like fun anyway. So yeah. <laughs> now, were this a real session, this would be about the point where I'd be saying, what would you like to do next? You know, usually the first session is an hour long and it's like this. It's kind of to explore your voice, to talk about like what your goals and hopes and dreams are, to feel out what you are good at and where your voice is, and then to make a game plan. Some people, their goal is, okay, I want to create a killer demo. I really want to have a much better demo than I have now. So that might be like one of their things. Another might be, okay, sure. what I want to be able to do now is to practice and then get back to you and then we'll see where things are at, you know? And so that be can become a series of sessions. Normally with those, we just go a half hour long instead of an hour, okay? Um, and then if, uh, if they want to continue to proceed beyond the first one, then I send them a link and then in the link they can order the session and they actually, calendar comes up and they can throw a dart at the calendar and just pick a day and a time and, and go for it, yeah. okay? So what we have experienced today is a, a person who has real ability, who has a nice voice, a really nice personality, who has energy and enthusiasm and a great attitude, which is the most important thing of all. And uh, based on that, I have no reason not to think that you can keep moving forward and, and really succeed uh, doing voiceovers. And I only say that when it's the truth because I don't want to lead people on or to make them feel like, okay, he just is telling me I'm good so he'll keep getting sessions with me, okay. And that's uh, th perfect. That's the kind of coach I want, you know, honest feedback because I want to grow. I don't want to be mediocre and just one of the thousands, you know, who just want to get into this for, you know, because they just have a great voice. You know, I, I want to be able to tackle all of the intricacies that you know clients are looking for and that's going to make it the best sound for you know their end project and you can't have a better attitude than that jess <sighs> thank you very much this has been a great thank pleasure you. and um, let's stay in touch if you eventually would like to do some stuff with coaching just get a hold of me uh, but this I is will. no pressure on you i just really appreciated that you'd take the time today to do this with me and uh, again i wish you all the very best thank you so much i appreciate you taking this time to help me so thank you so as you can see, when we get together for these sessions, it's not intimidating. Uh, it's not threatening. If anything, it's generally encouraging. 
And there's just a lot that we can go through, a lot that we can cover. There's a lot inside of you that we can bring out. And that's what I try to do in each of our coaching sessions. Now, I did promise that I was going to do something special for you today. So here it is. Uh, I just went online and I added a coupon code. Well, they call it a promo code at our website, but it's the same basic idea. And uh, this is good through, as of right now, I'm thinking through the middle of June 2021. So if you're watching or listening to this during that time, uh, you'll have the opportunity to take advantage of it. It takes $25 off of the $99 one hour session. And so it gives you a nice price break just for taking the time to watch through this video. And if you have any questions, feel free to send me a message. I would love to have a chance to talk with you and to answer any questions you have in advance of getting together. But I think that you'll find that um, I'm invested in giving you a good experience and to helping you really progress. So if you just go over and you actually order the uh, the one hour session, when it gets to the place where it like shows you your shopping cart, it'll have this place over here where it says enter a promo code, type in one hour, just like one word, just to, so it's all no spaces, O-N-E-H-O-U-R, one hour, and that will give you the uh, discount. And then we'll get together and we'll have a good time. This has been Studio Takes for today. Thank you very much, Jess Glass, for being our guest, and I'll talk to you next time. You give me a call. Hello. Hello. Hello, I think. Hello, cutie pie. Until I heard the voice, I'd never done a crazy thing in my whole life. Goodbye.